hello hello i'm back today i will be doing my first makeup look on this channel the first of many i really wanted to do this one right now because it is summer here where i'm at and what better way to start off than with a summer look so for this look that um i'm wearing that i'll be showing you i actually used the bh cosmetics carly bible palette unfortunately this was a deluxe edition so they don't have it anymore i don't know if you can find it still like maybe on ebay or amazon like honestly i don't know i focus this look again around summer so very bright uh shimmery still wearable if you don't have this palette you can still try out this look if you have similar colors to the ones that i'll be using and yeah i hope you guys like it um again it's my first of many makeup looks hopefully it turns out well on camera i don't know but we'll find out but still Hey look, it's me. Look at that naked face. So I always start off with foundation. Of course, I already moisturized my face. I am planning on making a foundation routine video just so I can explain the detail of the products and techniques that I use. And here you can see I take two different concealers and then just put that right underneath my eyes. And then I just take my finger and rub them in. So next, I take two powders and with a sponge, I'm going to dab that into my face. I really like the matte look and I do have really oily skin, so I use this method just to keep my foundation staying all day. Then with a third powder and a brush, I'm going to go ahead and just blend all of that in. I blend all over my face except for the nose. I don't blend the nose just yet. Next, I'm just going to go ahead and bring some color back to my face, give it some dimension after I evened out all my skin. After bronzer, I just pop on some blush, so swirl, 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 and pop, pop, pop. And that is the face for the time being. Now moving on to eyes, the main point of this video. Anytime I do an eye look, I like to use these two colors right here. I'm just using the same contour palette I used to bronze up my face. So with my finger, I take that yellowy one and then the whiter one and just put that all over my eyelid. I like doing this because it just helps blend in colors a lot better. So here, this is where I take the Carly Bible palette and I go ahead and I take that white highlight shade. I just take it with my ring finger and pop it into my inner corners. I always have to have that pop of white in my inner corner. It just makes my eyes look a lot bigger and brighter. I actually feel weird if I don't do this step, so I always have to make sure I do put white into my inner corner. Then I'm taking this e.l.f. blending brush. I'm putting a little bit of that middle color right on the top row. It's a really warm brown, perfect for a transition color. I'm taking this color right into my crease, focusing more on the outer part of my eye, and then just blending it more towards the middle, and then taking it a little bit higher. Now I'm taking this Clean Real Techniques brush and it's fluffier than the previous one I used. I'm just taking this and blending out that brown that I just put on my crease just so that there's no harsh lines. Also on the top row, now I'm taking that color right next to the brown we just used. It's a pink with like a nice little golden iridescence. And I'm picking up this color with my finger. I feel that whenever I use my finger, I just pick up more product. And it's easier for me to apply more color to my eyelid with my finger. So that's what I'm doing right here. Again, I'm focusing the color more towards the outer part of my eye and just bringing it a little bit into the middle. So with that same clean brush, I'm just doing the same, blending out the color I just put on, making sure there's no harsh lines. Now taking the color right next to that pink, which is a more peachy tone, 
getting a little bit of that and just placing it right on top of that pink just a tiny bit I feel like it gives it more dimension and then just blending it all together with this elf eyeshadow brush now I'm taking that first color in the second row and placing it in the center and inner part of my eyes With that same brush, I'm taking that pinky highlight shade and placing that right on my brow bone. Now this is the time where I take a clean brush and I buff in whatever product I left on my nose. Then I go ahead and highlight my cheekbones with that same pinky highlight I did on my brow bone. And of course, can't forget the cupid's bow. Next, I just fix my eyebrows, then my winged eyeliner. I live for winged eyeliner. I literally cannot go without it. Then we put on some mascara because, you know, lashes are life also. <laughs> I felt like this look needed to be a little bit brighter, so I'm just going to add this white eyeliner from Essence and placing it into my inner tear duct. So finally, last step is lips, and I always start off with chapstick. I'm using this one from Neutrogena, and it has SPF. Then that lipstick with the purple cap you just saw is from Maybelline. I forgot from which collection it is from, but it's in Barely Bloomed. Then I'm also taking the NYX Soft Matte Lip Cream in Cairo. This is like the truest nude I have, and I love it. Then I'm just topping all of that off with my Bare Minerals Gloss in Totally. I really liked how this nude glossy lip went with this eye look, and I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And... Please don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell so you guys can be the first ones notified whenever I put up a new video. Thank you so much for watching. See you guys next time. Bye!